going on guys? Today I wanted to jump into Forza Horizon 3 and do something kind of cool. With the new Fast and Furious uh, 8 trailer that was just released, I wanted to go into Forza Horizon 3 and have a little bit of fun. I wanted to basically build a car from the Fast and Furious trailer, go in, talk about the trailer, get my thoughts on it and stuff, and then do some predictions for the movie. So... Let's do that today. But before we do, I just wanted to say AR-12 hats are back in the AR-12 store. We sold out of them for a little bit, but they're back. Uh, and the Blue Crew Bundle and the Blackout Bundles also in the store. Blackout Bundles running very, very low, though. Anyways, links to all that in the description down below. Other things that are linked in the description down below is the trailer itself for Fast and Furious, uh, or the, the Fate of the Furious. I guess that's another thing I can comment on. Uh, also, the car I wanted to build today is Roman Pierce's Lamborghini Murcielago. So we don't actually have a normal, uh, the one he was driving, I believe was an LP640, but we don't have one of those. We only have the LP670. So I'm going to try my best to make it look like, uh, the one from the movie. So I'm gonna have to make it completely bone stock. Mine's wide body here. So, I mean, I'll do my best here. I don't know how well this is going to work. So, all right. I guess the first thing we should do is make the thing orange. Now I'm actually, I'm, what color were the rims? Were they just normal rims? I think, to be honest, it's just a normal orange Lamborghini, if I'm honest. So, let's go manufacture colors. There's the orange. Now, it's going to look a little different because, obviously, this is the SV, but, eh, what can you do? He had black rims. I can't tell exactly what the rims are, but they are most definitely black. His car is also more of, like, a reddy orange. It's more like that. And he's got a bright orange wing. I can't give myself a bright orange wing in this, but... Whatever. As of right now, there's not a lot of cars that are in the movie that you can actually build in Forza Horizon 3. So, I mean, this is going to be the simplest one. Obviously, there's no real body mods. There's nothing that crazy about this Lambo. It's just orange and was drifting on ice, which was pretty cool. And I think all I'm going to do with this thing is just give it some better rims. I'll go with those, sure, because I, I see the ones in the movie are actually pretty deep. So I'll go with those and paint them back black. I think for the movie, they actually have different rims for the front and the rear. The front ones seem really not, like, deep at all, but the rear ones are super, super deep, so I, I don't know. I'm gonna just chuck those on. Anyway, so, I mean, let's just set up a quick little championship out here, I guess. I mean, we're in a Lambo, right? So, I guess we should do some circuit races. Let's go all the way down here and set up a championship. Yeah, this Lambo doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty sick, if I'm honest. All right. So let's just blueprint up a custom championship real quick. Let's go modern supercars, sure. Then just choose some routes for us to run, and we'll be good. So yeah, I guess we should just talk about Fast and Furious, the trailer, my thoughts on it, what I think's gonna happen. So uh, I, I've given myself a list of notes here of interesting things that I either noticed or, or wanted to talk about, or just things that confuse me that hopefully you guys can help clarify. Little recap for the trailer if you didn't watch it. First of all, go watch it. It's like three minutes. Totally worth it. But if you didn't watch it, uh, they start off in a bunch of challengers, and then, for whatever reason, Dom just smashes into the rock. For no reason. And flips out his car. So the whole premise with this movie is that Dom is working with the villains, and it's like, for whatever reason, he was just like, eh, family, F that! Uh, and, and he went to work with, like, Charlize Theron, and, and those guys. So yeah, he absolutely smashes into the rock, takes him out, and then for whatever reason, uh, a few a few scenes later, the rock is in jail. I don't know how that happened. I'll get into that in a little bit, but it's like, what? He just got wrecked and then he's in jail. He was actually in jail with Jason Statham from Furious 7, who you may remember as being like the main villain. And then somehow, those two guys who were trying to absolutely murder each other become best friends. Which is kind of interesting, but I have some predictions as per why. Also, I'm finding out this Lambo is really not that fast. It's completely stock, other than the rims, of course. And I'm in last place. And then after that, a lot of people shoot at a lot of other people with many machine guns and things like that. And then somehow, after being in- I believe this movie's taking place in New York. After the movie- after everything's taking place in New York, somehow they end up in the Arctic, where there's a submarine happens. And then Dom kisses Charlize Theron. Oh my god, people crashed! There was an LF- that's an LFA and there's something in a tree over there. I didn't see that, but damn. So yeah, my thoughts on the trailer. Uh, it was pretty cool. It- it's- okay. 
here's the thing. A trailer has never before made me go, what the hell is going on? Because, okay, right. First of all, Dom, Dom becomes a villain. What the hell happened there? Mr. All oh, Family and stuff. How the hell did he go from being like Mr. Family to Mr. F.U. Family? I don't understand. Truly, it just leaves me asking more questions than we have answers right now. And it's just like, okay, April, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I want to watch this movie. Why does Dom turn? How does The Rock end up in jail? How is Jason Statham like, hey, you guys, I'm okay with you. I won't kill you. I promise. It's just like, what was that? Like, because you know there's going to be some event that happens very early on in the movie and shit is just going to hit the fan. Like, what is that thing? I would say though, even though this trailer does leave me with more questions than answers, I'm just like, okay, this looks really awesome and I really want to see it, especially with the name The Fate of the Furious now, which I don't really like. It looks really cool and I want to see more of it if I'm honest. It's like super intriguing. I'm very excited to see what they have in store for us because I'm sure it's going to be awesome, but who knows? The cars in the movie actually look really, really awesome. I love those Hellcats towards the beginning of the movie. Obviously that bright orange Lambo. I'm a Lambo person. I don't know what it is about them. But Roman Pierce's Lambo and him just drifting through the snow. Oh, that's like, that's like the dream right there. And then what else looked really awesome? I guess the submarine is just like, what the hell? When they're chased, when they're chased after in a submarine. And then me being a Subaru guy as well, there's a, there's like an ice white Subaru going over all the ice and the snow again. It looks super, super cool. I'm excited for that. And then just like all the snowmobiles and Dom turning. Holy shit, that was cool. The way he like screwed with his own team. It was like him versus like his original crew of guys. And then they all like latch on to him with like pick thingies. And then he like punches a door out and reverses and screws with them. Holy shit, did that look cool. Also, I'm just gonna say, how the hell does he punch a door out? I'm like, d like Dom's a big dude, but still, how the hell does he punch a door out? All right, so this race is going even worse than the last one because no one's actually crashed this race. I'm just chilling in last. God damn it. Last place. Wow, I think this is gonna be the first championship where I actually, like, could come last. This is not good. But yeah, seriously, the movie just looks freaking cool. I'm just excited for it at the end of the day. It's like, there are so many things I wanna know the answer to right now and can't answer. So I'm super intrigued. So I guess this is the part of the video where I should do like predictions and stuff for what I think is gonna happen in the movie because I feel like I have a good idea of the way the story's gonna go. But like I said, who knows with Fast and Furious? Anything can happen. Like, like was I expecting, before today, was I expecting Jason Statham to be like, hey, you guys, you guys okay? No, hell no. But I mean, I'll give some predictions, I guess, for what we've seen for the trailer and what we can expect, I guess. So I, I, I would expect the movie to start with Dom sort of turning. Why is he gonna go from Mr. Family Man to Mr. F.U. Family Man? So we know the main villain for the movie is uh, Charlize Theron, and she's like a techie villain, right? So I was browsing on Reddit earlier, and I was reading what some people think that she might be doing. Some people said that there are, there are a couple things that she could do. She could, because she's a techie villain, she could try to like brainwash Dom or implant like a chip in him to make him turn or something like that. Or there was another guy that was saying like, uh, Charlize could be threatening uh, Dom or threatening like uh, Brian's family. And that's why Dom is sort of like, okay, I gotta work with her. I gotta be friends. So so Dom's, uh, or, or so Brian's okay. Cause like, you know, Dom is not just gonna turn without any reason. Something is gonna happen. It's just, what is that? Is, what is that something that's gonna happen in this movie? For me personally, I think it's definitely gonna be something with uh, Charlize Theron because at the end of the trailer we saw him kiss Charlize Theron in front of Letty, which was like, okay, I don't think I've ever had like a one of those like, oh shit moments in like a trailer or like a movie. But this was like, if you were filming my reaction to it, I legitimately went, oh shit. And it was just like one of those moments that was like, you're not predicting at all. So I definitely think there's something up 
with her, like threatening Brian possibly. So Dom is gonna do anything it takes uh, to be on her good side so that doesn't happen. I definitely think that theory is, is, is totally plausible. And then it's just like, well, all this is going on with him getting brainwashed or getting some chip planted in him or, or, or Brian being threatened. Somehow the rock ends up in jail. How the hell does that happen? He was like Mr. Super Cop, and then he ends up in jail with Jason Statham. One thing I will say was a bit weird with the trailer is that Jason Statham was like, in, in, in Furious 7, was like trying to kill uh, Dom and the entire crew and, and, and The Rock as well. Here's what I think happened. They went to Jason Statham, they were like, hey, you want to kill this guy, right? And he's like, yeah. He's like, I want to be in on that. But then it's really weird how he just starts working with the whole crew and the whole crew is just like, Hey, yeah, you tried to blow us up last last movie with missiles? Eh, you're probably an okay guy. I, I, I truly find like that was the only like really weird part of the trailer, how they were just like, Yeah, you tried to like kill us last movie, but let's we'll forget about that. Uh, we want to go get Dom and you really want to kill him, but we'll get really close. Please don't kill him when we get to him and everything should be okay. And then anyways, they're trying to get Charlize throughout all of this and trying to get Dom back, I would imagine. So they have to figure out a way to get to them and, and things like that. And then they end up in the Arctic. How the hell do they get there? Why are they there? I have no idea. Maybe that's where like the, the villain base is. I don't know. I mean, maybe they're in the submarine, but the, why would, I, don't, I don't get it. There's so many questions that remain unanswered. And then the movie probably wraps up with somebody dying, I would imagine. But it's gonna be really, really interesting. I'm so hyped for this movie. I'm I'm so excited to see everything they have in store for us. It's been, what, a couple of years since the last Fast and Furious. It's like, I'm excited, I am pumped. It is, it is time for another Fast and Furious movie. I guess it's also gonna be interesting to figure out what the title of the movie means because it's the fate of the furious it's like what's gonna happen like the way i look at it is what's the fate of this family right the whole the whole movies or a lot of the movies being based around the idea of family so the fate of the furious is i'm thinking like what's the fate of the family gonna be like so anyways little recap i think the movie looks awesome i am super super pumped for it i love the little homage to uh to paul walker as well with his with the family there and, and the picture was just like, oh, that's a nice little mo uh, nice little move they did. But yeah, I'm super pumped for this movie. Let me know what you guys think of the trailer in the comments down below. Like, did you guys like what you saw? Were you conf as confused as me? Because I was super confused. But yeah, are you guys excited for this movie as much as I am? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So yeah, with that abysmal championship in Forza Horizon 3, I wasn't even racing badly. It's just that... The game is on the hardest difficulty, and the AI are just driving like crazy people today for some reason. I don't understand why, but it's just like, damn, that didn't go well. Man, Roman, apparently, you need a faster Lambo. I mean, I probably should have upgraded it, but... So anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe down below. I'm gonna be talking about Fast and Furious for quite a bit. Don't forget, as well, tomorrow is both the GTA update and the Forza Horizon 3 snow update. So be on the lookout for videos of both of those on the channel throughout the entire week. So I'm super pumped for both of those, obviously, and Fast and Furious. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!